uh, how to make switch toggle animation how to make switch toggle prototype with variables in figma so let's do this how to make boolean prototype animation with variables in figma so in this video i will show you everything about that how you can make your switch on and off toggle on and off prototype with variables in figma okay, so let's get started with this tutorial and let's dive into the video straightforwardly without wasting any time so what we have to do first of all we have to you know create a new new component for switch and this element so let me just gonna uh, copy this uh, copy this switch here let me get this switch here and show you how we can make this so first you once you get this switch you can first detach it and then we have to make one uh, new component so you can create new component like this and now what we have to do we have to create a variable a variant so once you create variant you can have to create one more variant and then this switch should be on the right hand side and then once you have this in the right hand side you have to select the color so you can select any color which you may have anything you can select right and then what we have to do you know you can see there is a uh, there is a prototype section but before going to that what we have to do we have to go to the local variables so this is on the left hand side you can click on this and then we have to create let me just show you how we can create so you would have this kind of uh, interface in your screen once you create uh, new variables once you create new local variables so you can click on create variable and then you can select boolean boolean effect and then you can right here is on okay so again right here is on and this sh this should be false right so make it false you don't have to click on this just it should be false and then cross this and then what, what you have to do you can go to the prototype section and go to the interaction and then you can click on this plus uh, first of all let me drag it here okay so you can click on this plus and you can go to the set variable once you go to set variable now we have to select this is on and then the expression should be true right so this should be true you can select the true and then that's it you don't have to do anything else and says so same we have to do with this toggle the like on toggle you, what you have to do is to click on the interaction then again you have to go to this plus icon and you can uh, set the variable and then again you have to select uh, select is on false and now here we don't have to select true we have to select false right so you can select this false you can see the drop down you can select the false now okay so once you select the false now that's all we have to do the settings in prototype section okay for this toggle once you're done with this now we have to get this toggle into a design so let me just copy our design our main design so this is our main design so let me just copy uh, and paste it here and we can delete this one right okay so once you paste it first paste it here now we have to create one more component which is for this lamp so for lamp what we have to do we have to duplicate this lamp and we can delete it from here and then again you can uh, dis okay now what we again what we have to do in order to make the prototype effectively what we have to do we have to create a lamp design so you know to do that what you can do is what we can uh, what we have to do is to click on this and then uh, we have to get this lamp here and then what we have to do is to create create a new component for this once you click on the new component and you know you have to create one more property you can create the variant from here but we would uh, we want to like this we would do in some different method so the second method in order to make this prototype make this variable prototype so but the second method is you but uh, we have what we can do here is you have to drag drag all this on here okay and remove your uh, this frame and then we also have to get this lamp here so you need to get the lamp you can click on this lamp and or this one you can drag it out okay and now you can distance this lamp and you can set your lamp according to your uh, light according to your you know shadow of this light okay so once you select this now we have to create one more component for this one or before doing that what we have to do we have to get all this stuff this light and this back sh uh, this one should be inside this frame so you need to do that you can drag it inside it and make sure that your stuff should be inside the rectangle right inside the frame so let me just get it inside and then i will show you okay now now it is inside this lamp and now you can you know set your shadow accordingly and make sure that it is in the right position it is on the right position right okay so once you have done this now what we have to do we have to click on 
this and make sure that this is inside and then you can click on component you can make one more component and now we have two components ready first is this one second is this one and now what we have to do here we have to uh, combine this combine as a variant okay and you can make your uh, variant bigger you know to make it fit here right <coughs> sorry and now what we have to do we have to set the, we go to the prototype section and now here we have to uh, click on interaction and you can see here what we have to do in interaction this is the main thing that you have to you know consider and you have to focus so you can click on this and then you can write here on and off you can write here on and off and this one should be false so you can write here false and this one should be true you can write here true and you can drag it out and you can see there is a so you can see there is a switch that convert into a boolean uh, toggle right there is a boolean toggle and now you can delete this one and you can drag this inside your uh, design and you can see there is a there is a, vari a variable icon so you can click on this and you can select this is on uh, toggle right once you select this 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 is linked to this one right linked to these two right and now you can see there is a i already added this toggle here below this right and i also set it this all these functions according to this one as i sh as i have showed you previously right so you can see there is a set you can see the settings let me just show you the settings so this, this is the settings here and now once you have done this you can see there is a set variable i've set it the variable as well right and now what you can do you can click on this your design and you can now play this so let me just play this by clicking on shift and space once you click on shift and space you can see and you can play your prototype so once i click on on so this will go into on so this will switch on right and now this is switch off so that's how this is the lamp uh, switch on and off so that's how you can do this uh, design with variables you can do this prototype design with variables in figma yourself as well and you can do this with multiple design any other design as well so you can see right now this is a really very good feature i really like it this variable and you can also play this with different multiple other designs right so you can do your smart home uh, home app and you can smart car app you can apply this for anything any app right any website so this is a really very good feature and you can do this with variable as i have showed you so if you really like this video then please hit the thumbs up also if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please go and subscribe to never miss any new video like this and new videos updates figma updates and new you know prototyping animations and other things as well so make sure that you subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video bye bye